Yo, Rumits here, and today I'm going to let you know how good 87 rated UEFA Champions League road to the final Wesley Fofana really is. So he stands 6 foot 3 inches tall, he has medium high work rates, good work rates. His preferred foot is right, he's only got a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves though. He's currently coming in at around 230,000 coins on the market. This card is upgradable, Chelsea happen to find themselves one goal down against Dortmund in the Champions League. I believe the second leg is at home for Chelsea, so there is a possibility that they turn that around. So we can play centre back and centre back only his club Chelsea he's got the Premier League links and the French links I've decided to stick a shadow on him which makes him the lengthy accelerate type so an artist engine and finisher make him controlled all other chem styles make him lengthy so his acceleration with the shadows boosted up to 87 sprint speed up to 95 I'm hoping he's fast being lengthy with that pace shooting garbage don't worry about that his passing short passing 81 long passing 76 should be good enough for a center back his dribbling, I mean it looks okay for a centre back, agility 73, balance 73, reactions 82, ball control 82, dribbling 68, composure 82, his defending looks great with the shadow, inceptions up to 99, heading accuracy up to 86, defence awareness up to 94, standing tackle up to 98 and sliding tackle up to 99, he is great at defending it seems, you know what isn't great at defending, that light button your finger can attack it so physical stats look good as well jumping 86 stamina 85 should last all of the game as a center back strength 90 very good aggression 88 also very good they've given us some information on the upgrade pattern it does say win first knockout game after campaign launch so that doesn't include the Dortmund game that they just lost so if they beat Dortmund in the next game and qualify for the quarterfinals it looks like he'll get a plus two upgrade wow that's a big upgrade so he's got the injury prone trait that's not good but he's got the dives into tackles trait and be playing him in the center back position next to his old buddy Saliba in a 4-2-3 on narrow in this team so let's see how he plays good defensive header good positioning That was a terrible long ball. That was a good recovery there from Fofana. Fofana in the right place. Oh, brilliant tackle by Fofana. I thought I was about to concede. He came out of nowhere. That ran the Orton. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fafana's leg just wasn't long enough there. Fafana just missed that. Pope. He must be a ghosting goal. It just went through him. Good inception there. Surely that's a foul. Nothing given by the ref. Wow. Loose pass. Good inception there from Fafana. My God. Good recovery. I was in the wrong position there. A little tag team there from Fofana and Cancelo. Oh, good block by Fofana. Would have been definitely game over then. Inception, very good. Good recovery there from Fafana. Safe pass. Good play, good play. Nice. Great sliding tackle. I was worried he's going to give a pen. <laughs> good play. Nice pace. Good inception. Great play for Fana. Nice pass as well. Good inception. Good close control as well and a pass into safety. So after four games with Fofana, we didn't get any goals or assists, but that's not what we're looking for. He is a centre-back after all. And if you want to see more reviews on the latest FIFA 23 players, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But yeah, how good is he? Well, he is definitely a good centre-back. Maybe I was expecting a little bit more, I don't know, but... He was good, but I did pair him with Saliba, the informed Saliba, who's about 83 rated and came out in Team of the Week 1. 
and they were very similar and he's a lot cheaper so yeah maybe I was expecting more but of course this card is upgradable if Chelsea managed to get past Dortmund and I think he'll get two upgrades then so if he does get that then that'd be amazing let me just look at the upgrade pattern so yeah win first knockout game after the campaign launch so that's the next game and qualify for the quarterfinals yeah so I think he should get two inform upgrades if they beat Dortmund but yeah uh, his pace being lengthy with the shadow he does feel fast enough he can keep up with most attackers obviously if they're played in behind then it'll be difficult playing catch up his defending he felt really good in the tackle quite strong in the tackle wins the ball when he should do i guess there's always going to be the odd occasions with defenders where they do something random his physicals felt good he lasts all the game he's strong aggressive his heading and jumping is decent of course being six foot three as well and his dribbling for a center back is decent Nothing amazing, obviously. He's not Ben Yedder or anything, but he's decent on the ball for a centre-back. Cons, his passing. His passing just felt a bit off sometimes. So, yeah, it's not terrible, but, yeah, a few of them were just a bit weak or a bit off target. So, yeah, his passing isn't too great. At this point, I'm saying an 8.9 out of 10. I'm just going to refresh Footbin just to see how much he is at this moment. Yeah, just over 220k. Uh, I think he can be upgraded. That's the thing. At this point... I think this card right now isn't worth 220k. I think maybe 140 maybe. But of course it can get upgraded. So that is why the price is there. He's got good, good links as well. France, Chelsea. So yeah, but he is a good centre-back. Don't get me wrong. But I think you're going to want some upgrades. So if you get this card, hopefully Chelsea get past Dortmund. But yeah, good centre-back. But that is only my opinion. Please like, subscribe and comment in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Take care.